What's going on everyone? This is Vince from Life with Vince Lou coming back at you with another episode of BJJ Blue Belt Chronicles where I document my journey as a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Blue Belt. Before I started Jiu Jitsu I was actually really into power building so a mix between powerlifting and bodybuilding where I'd be doing powerlifting movements so squat, bench, deadlift but also incorporating a lot of bodybuilding style workouts just because I wanted to be jacked, I wanted to be ripped and I just wanted to look good and be aesthetic. But then I started Jiu Jitsu and I quickly realized that size, strength, looking super shredded, looking super good aren't going to help me when the time comes. And this realization is actually the reason why I decided to switch from power building to Jiu Jitsu or rather spend more time on Jiu Jitsu rather than power building. And even on the first day, I realized how powerful jiu-jitsu really is. It doesn't matter how strong you are. It doesn't matter how good you look. I mean, especially how good you look. What does a six-pack help you in the middle of a fight? And that just made me realize I have been doing this all wrong. I need to be focusing on jiu-jitsu rather than power building. And I was watching a few rounds of people rolling and... There are these 180 pound, 200 pound guys getting whooped by this 110, 120 pound girl. And she was literally having their way. And it's not like they weren't trying, trust me, they were trying. But she was just manipulating them and it just felt super easy. She was flowing and she just had so much control. And I was like, I want to be her. And I want to be able to do that to other people, to have that level of control if it ever comes down to it. And even with this realization on the first day of class, it really did take me a little bit of time to make that switch from focusing more on jujitsu than power building. Because when I first started, I was power building four to five days a week and I was going to jujitsu two to three. But then the more classes I attended, the more I got into jujitsu, it just reinforced and reinforced and reinforced. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I am definitely need to do this instead of going to the gym to be strong and to look good but if I don't do jiu-jitsu then I can't defend myself so all right I'm gonna make that switch so three to four months in I finally kind of made that switch where I was going to jiu-jitsu four to five days a week and then I was doing power building still two to three days a week don't get me wrong because I started with this power building background I still want to be strong and I still want to be aesthetic but if you're going to ask me if I want to go to the gym or if I want to go to jiu-jitsu, I'm going to pick jiu-jitsu. And this isn't even including my ultra running. Ultra running is kind of in the middle. And I'll pick jiu-jitsu first, ultra running, then power building. But I try to do all three still. With my power building, I'm still doing heavy deadlifts. Right now, I can deadlift about 415 without a belt and 425 with a belt. That's for a single I'm at about 133 pounds. I still run pretty much every day. I'm still into the whole 50 and 100 miler game. And I go to jiu-jitsu five to six days a week on a regular week, so. And one other thing that made it easier to commit to jiu-jitsu more is actually the community. Like, yeah, there's a community at the gym, but for the most part, you're kind of in your own zone. You have your headphones in, no one's really talking to you. Yeah, every once in a while, you get someone to come up to you and be like, yeah, dude, that's some, that's some heavy weight and you might make friends there but for the most part again you're just kind of in your own zone whereas jiu-jitsu the community is very loving you're rolling with these people you're sweating on these people they're literally face to face they got their armpit here they got they're choking you out and the community aspect i feel like it's just really tighter and it's not just with the person you're rolling with but you roll with everyone right and the community in a regular class can be 20 30 40 even 50 people and you are rolling with all of them you're getting to know each and every one of them and you just grow closer as a community and all of this this is my personal opinion this is my journey so i wanted to share with you all there is no right or wrong answer everyone's a little bit different but this is my personal journey so i hope you all enjoyed that video if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Other than that, see y'all soon.